fill in the blanks. Advice or advice. These words are examples of commonly confused words. And that is our topic in this video. Troublesome words are commonly confused words. The words that confuse us because they may have the same pronunciation and or spelling but different in meaning. They could be homophones, homonyms, or homographs. So when you say homophones, these are the words that have the same pronunciation but different in meaning and spelling. For example, advice and advice. Homonyms, these are the words that spelled and pronounced alike but different in meaning. For example, bear. It could be a noun or a verb. If it is a verb, it means to endure. If it is a noun, it is an animal. Homographs. These are words that spell the like but different in meaning and pronunciation. For example, bowl and bow. Always remember, hindi natin nilalagyan ng pagkain ng bow. Let's now have the examples. Advice versus advice. Please fill in the blanks. Let's see if you know the difference between advice and advice. Advice with letter C is a noun meaning an opinion or recommendation offered as a guide to action, conduct, etc. So ito mismo yung payo na ibinibigay natin sa ibang tao. Example sentence. I give advice to my students. So binigyan ko ng payo ang aking mga student. And we should pronounce this word as advice. The sound of letter C is S. Advice. Advice. It is a verb meaning to give counsel to, offer an opinion or suggestion as worth following. So it is the act of giving advice. Example sentence. I always advise my students to be punctual. So advice with letter S, it is a verb. Ito yung act ng pagbibigay ng payo, ng advice with letter C. Let's go back to the example sentence earlier. I believe you can answer it now correctly. What do you think is the answers? I advise, yes with letter S, you to take my advice with letter C. There versus there versus there. Fill in the blanks. There. It is a contraction that means they are. Example sentences. They are very humble. They are my favorite movies. Once again, there is pinaikling they are. There. It is the possessive of belonging to them. So when you say possessive, it expresses ownership. Pagmamayari. So in Filipino, there is sa kanila. Example sentence, it's their house. So it means that the house is owned by them. Another example sentence, the trees are losing their leaves. So it means that the leaves were from the trees. There. It has the word here in it, which is helpful because it's often about location. Example sentences, there it is, we'll be there soon. Put it there. So when you say there, it has something to do with location. In Filipino, doon. And there you go. They're not an easy group of words. But with practice, I know you can master their distinctions. Remember that I am just here cheering for you. In summary, there is the most common. It has the word here in it which is helpful because it's often about location. There always means they are. There is the possessive form of they. Let's go back to the example sentence earlier.
Let's read it together. They're staying there together with their parents. Compliment versus compliment. Fill in the blanks. Compliment with E. As a noun, it refers to something that completes or brings to perfection. So, ito yung kukompleto o bubuo sa isang tao, bagay, o pagkain. Example sentence. The dressing is an expected complement of salad. So, yung dressing ay kumompleto sa nasa ng salad. As a verb, complement means to supplement adequately or to complete. So, example sentence, the wine complemented the meal perfectly. Compliment with A. As a noun, it refers to an expression of esteem, admiration, or praise. So, ito yung papuri o magagandang salita. Your friend gave me a nice compliment yesterday. As a verb, it means to pay a compliment. It is the action of giving compliment. She loves it when I compliment her. Let's go back to the example sentences earlier. Very good. Lose versus lose. Fill in the blanks. Lose with two O's is an adjective that means not tight, maluwag. Example sentence, one of the screws is loose. And we pronounce it as loose. Can you say it? Let me hear ya. Lose with one O. It means become unable to find, nawawala, hindi makita, parang pakinya sayo. Example sentence, I always lose my pen. It can also mean to fail to win, gain, or obtain. Talo. Hindi panalo. Example sentence. We never lose in a contest. Let's go back to the example sentence. What's your answers? Okay, very good. Lead or lead versus lead. Fill in the blanks. Lead or lead. When it rhymes with bed as in lead, it refers to a type of metal. Example sentence. There is lead in the water. It is too dangerous to drink. When it rhymes with bead as in lead, it means to go first or act as a guide. Manguna. Example sentence. Where you lead, I will follow. It can also be an adjective which means main. He's the lead actor in the upcoming movie. Lead as in L-E-D. It is the past tense form of the verb lead. It rhymes with the word bed or set. Example sentences. He led his classmates very well. Liza led Chain to the restroom. Let's go back to the example sentences earlier. What are your answers? Very good. It's versus it's. Fill in the blanks. I guess the answers are it's net, it's container. What do you think? It's with apostrophe. It is a contraction of it is or it has. He doesn't think it's a good idea to spend all his money on video games. It's here is a contraction of it is. Let's have it has. It's been a year since the last time they met. It's without apostrophe. It is a possessive determiner we use to say that something belongs to or refers to something. 
So earlier, I said when you say possessive, it expresses ownership pag mamayari. Example sentence, A car is no good without its wheels. So we all know that wheels are part of a car. Okay, let's have the example sentence earlier. It's net. It's container. Two versus two. Fill in the blanks. Two with one O. As an adverb, it indicates something is moving toward a wanted position or coming into awareness. Example sentence. He decided to stay on the job. As a preposition, it indicates a direction, position, or result. Example sentence. We're going to the mall. Two with two O's as in T-O-O. It is an adverb which means also or in addition. Example sentence. He's going with them too. Or, I love you too. Another example sentence. It's too hot for that sweater. So in this sentence, too expresses excessive degree. Let's go back to the example sentence earlier. I'm too tired to walk home. Stationary versus stationary. Fill in the blanks. Stationary with A. It is an adjective which means fixed in one place and not moving. Hindi gumagalaw na sa isang lugar lang. Example sentence. I don't care much for the stationary bike. I prefer riding a real one. Stationary bike yung ginagamit sa gym. Stationary with E. It is a noun which refers to the collection of papers, envelopes, and other things you would use to write letters or cards. Example sentence. This shop handles paper and stationery. Let's go back to the example sentence. Very good. Principal versus principal. Fill in the blanks. Principle. It is a noun which means a rule, a law, a guideline, or a fact. It is a basic truth or a rule governing behavior. In Filipino, principio. Example sentence. He was a man of principle and good to his word. Principal. It can be a noun which means someone or something of primary importance. Example sentence. The principal of this school is retiring this year. It can also be an adjective which means the first or highest in importance. Example sentence. The principal problem facing our economy today is jobs by Jim Sensenbrenner. Let's go back to the example sentence. What are your answers? Very good. And now we're down to the last pair of words. Take versus bring. Fill in the blanks. Take generally describes the movement of something away from a location. So, mula sa location ng speaker, papalayo sa kanya. Example sentence, I have to take the garbage out tonight. Bring. It describes the movement of something toward a specified location. Example sentence, Waiter, could you bring me some water please? So basically, mula sa malayo, papalapit sa speaker. Let's go back to the example sentence. 
What are your answers? Great job! It's quiz time! Complete the sentence by choosing the correct word inside the parentheses. You will be given 4 minutes to answer. There is no need for you to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Time's up! Let's see if you got the correct answers. Number one, we have advice with letter C. Number two, we have there. 
is in T H E I R, which shows possession. Number three, we have complement. O S E, we have lead for number five, the past tense of lead. It's for number six with apostrophe. Number seven, we have two T O O. Number 8, we have stationary, letter A. And number 9, we have principal. And number 10, take. And that's it. May I know your score? Can you please type it down on the comment section? Thank you. And that's it for this video. But before I end this, I would like to read this quotation by Nelson Mandela. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his own language, that goes to his heart. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something at the same time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified on the next videos that I will be uploading. Till next time!